Hi, I'm Robin Martin, and today's practice is going to be a heart opening flow. So I'm gonna lead you through a bunch of poses that will release the front body. And there is one pose that you may want a block for, a little support, and if not, if you don't have one, you don't wanna use one, it's certainly not a big deal, it's just an option. And enjoy the class. We are going to be starting in child's pose for this flow. So coming into child's pose, big toes touch, knees spread nice and wide about the width of the mat. And just start to soften and draw your arms forward. Relax your forearms all the way onto the mat, rest your forehead down. And start to sink your tail back towards your heels. So just getting really, really soft and heavy here. No tension anywhere. Complete, complete relax in your child's pose. And start to go inward. Start to check in with your breath. Notice the length, the texture the rise and fall of the chest with the breath and starting to move from your natural breathing to ujjayi pranayama. So breathing in and out through your nose, it should be audible. You should be able to hear your own breath in and out through your nose. And with each exhale, softening your tail back towards your heels a little further. So even right here in Balasana and Child's Pose, we're melting the heart, opening the heart, drawing your heart down towards your mat, breathing, pressing in through the palms, but no tension, sliding your shoulder blades back away from your ears. And then start to make this an active child's pose by walking your hands forward, drawing your forearms off the mat, breathing length into your spine. So inhaling the breath, spread your ribs, stretch your skin, intercostal muscle stretch, then as you exhale, soften and deepen. And as you inhale, come on up to all fours, draw your hands back underneath your shoulders, bring your knees underneath your hips, so stack your joints here. Start to reach your tailbone long and then make sure your hips are right above your knees. You're gonna walk the hands forward for Anahata Asana. This is the heart melting pose, pressing through the palms and just starting to draw your heart back towards your thighs. So arms are active here. You can keep your chin forward if you're feeling open in the front body or take your forehead to the mat. Again, just pressing your heart back towards your thighs, softening, melting here. Feeling the tail shine bright towards the ceiling. Heart melts and then begin to make your way out of Anahata Asana, walk your hands back just a little bit, tuck your toes, downward facing dog without changing the shape of the spine. So continuing to soften your heart back towards your thighs. Spread your fingers wide, find some stillness in your downward dog just so you can set it up. Heels are soft, so big stretch all the way down the back of the legs. Your Achilles tendons, calf muscles, stretching, quadriceps engaged. The shoulders roll out slightly as the creases of the elbows drop forward. Relax your head and neck. Start to move it around, bend your knees. Right and left, right and left. Shake your head around if that feels good. Nod your head, no, and then end with a yes. And coming back to your downward facing dog, walk your hands all the way back to your feet for a gentle forward fold ragdoll pose. Soft bend in the knees, taking your hands, pinky fingers to elbow creases or letting your arms just drape. And then soften through your spine. Notice if the shoulders are crawling up towards the ear, slide them back. Maybe finding a little bit of a sway here from side to side. Toes aren't gripping, so rooting through the four corners of the feet. Toes are nice and light. And then come all the way back to center. Release your arms, walk yourself forward to plank pose. Come all the way into your plank pose and just start to engage your core here. Pull your belly up to your spine. Uddiyana Bandha, your belly lock, and then Become aware of your pelvic floor. Engage your pelvic floor, your mula bandha, and then start to shift forward onto the tips of the toes. Bring the shoulders past the wrists. You can do this through the knees to modify and then press back. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale to press back. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale back, and this time shift forward. Bring your knees down and slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes, reach the legs long, and start to draw your belly up, tailbone reaches back. Hands just under the shoulders. If you're not quite sure about the position, you can roll the heads of the shoulders down, tap your fingers, and then roll the heads of the shoulders back behind you. Squeeze shoulder blades together, lift through the heart. So heart opening right here in Bhujangasana Cobra Pose. There's very little weight in the hands here. Maybe you float fingers, engaging the muscles in the back body, and then bring your forehead all the way back down. We'll take one more low cobra. Pressing palms in this time, more weight in the hands. Keep the elbows bent, but use the hands, palms, to lift the heart a little higher. Rolling the heads of the shoulders back and down, broadening through the front body, through the chest. Slight pelvic tilt forward so you're not compressing into the low spine and then lower all the way back down. Tuck your toes, 
Make your way back to downward facing dog. You can press back through the knees, then rise the hips high. Downward dog, take a breath in, downward dog, reset. Bring your big toes to touch. Inhale your right leg up and back. Come into three-legged dog. Make sure your two hips are in one line and your right foot is really active. Point the foot, flex the toes, spread the toes wide, and then start to soften your left heel. Melt your heart towards your left thigh. And then as you exhale, bend your knee, stack your hips, roll it open. Just a little lubrication for the hip joint, squeezing your heel towards the tail. Two shoulders are square. Inhale, straighten your legs, square the hips. Start to shift the weight forward into your hands. You're gonna start to draw your heart forward. Bend your knee. Imagine as if you're gonna tap your foot to your head. So you're softening right between the shoulder blades, reaching the heart forward. Contracting your right hamstring, inhale, straighten everything out. As you exhale, round the spine, draw your knee to your nose. Round in, neutralize your spine, step your right foot forward, warrior one. Back foot lands at 45 degrees, inhale, reach your arms high. And just land in warrior one, pause here. Study the pose from your foundation from the ground beneath your feet. Start to hug your right hip back, draw your left hip forward. If you find that your hips are really tight and you need a little bit more space, heel toe your right foot out a couple of inches to the right. Feet can be hip width. Creates a little bit more room to square off the hips. Breathing here, bring your palms together. Start to pull your belly in as you reach your tailbone long. Press your shoulder blades into your back ribs as you reach up. Maybe start to open the heart. Maybe start to go back just a little bit, not a lot. Opening the heart and then as you exhale the breath, plant the hands. Step back to plank pose. Pause in plank. Make sure the shoulders are above the wrists. Fingers are spread wide, shift forward, exhale lower all the way down. One more time, low cobra, untuck the toes. Pull the belly up, tailbone is long, lift. And maybe you press into the palms, maybe you lift a little higher. Exhale lower all the way down, tuck your toes. Maybe you press through plank this time, exhaling all the way back, downward facing dog. Taking a breath cycle in downward dog, reset, big toes touch, inhale your left leg up and back. Three-legged dog, so left hip draws down, Sole of the foot faces the ceiling, right heel softens, heart melts towards your right thigh. Bend your knee, roll the hip open. Start to draw your left knee high as you keep your left shoulder rolling down towards the earth. So going for shoulders perpendicular to hips here, squeezing your heel towards your tail. Inhale, straighten the leg as you square the hip, shift the weight into your hands. Moving into this plank position as you draw the heart forward, start to bend your left knee. Imagine as if you're gonna tap your foot to your head. So the shoulder blades draw together to melt that space between the shoulder blades. Heart draws forward, inhale, straighten everything. Start to round in, exhale, knee to nose. Step your left foot between your hands. Right foot 45 degrees, warrior one. Rise, come into warrior one. And start to work your square hips here, hugging your left hip back, right hip draws forward. Begin to bring your palms together as you pull your belly in, tailbone is long. So you're gonna start to lengthen through the sideways, reaching up and again, Taking the option of a little bit of a heart opener here as your shoulder blades press into your back ribs to lift the heart, maybe working your fingers back a couple of inches. Take one more inhale. As you exhale the breath, plant your hands, step back to plank. Pause in plank, shift forward, tips of the toes, this time lowering down halfway chaturanga or maybe you're coming all the way down. Inhale to rise, upward facing dog or low cobra, pause here. If you're in your upward dog, your thighs are lifting off the mat, your shoulders are rolling back and down. Broad through the chest. Exhale, press all the way back. Downward facing dog. Really nice, take a deep breath in and exhale through the mouth, release. Inhale your right leg up and back. Exhale, bend your knee, roll the hip open, moving one breath for pose. Inhale, straighten, shift the weight forward. Bend your knee, imagine as if you're gonna touch your foot to your head. Inhale, straighten everything out. Exhale, round in, knee to nose. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Right away, palms together, right away, reaching up. Maybe going back and then exhaling, open warrior two. So come into your warrior two, back foot should be at about 90 degrees, front foot faces straight ahead. And then your knee is tracking over the ankle, slightly toward the baby toe side edge of the foot, inner thighs are active. Shoulders stack over the hips. Flip your palms, reach, breathe length into your low ribs, inhale, reverse your warrior. Reaching up to create space all the way down the right side body. And as you exhale, we're gonna move into half moon, so if you have a block, you wanna use your block, you'll place your block just to the right side of the foot, about mm, six to eight inches in front of your right foot, and then you'll make your way up, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. And in half moon, you're stacking hips, stacking shoulders, you can gaze down at the earth, you can take your gaze to the left, you can gaze all the way up past your thumb, you stay here, or bend your back foot, reach for the outer edge of the foot, Chopasana, sugar cane, a heart opening pose here, so pressing the heart open, drawing the left knee back, 
as you reach, as you breathe, and then very gently release. Right back to half moon, and then coming all the way down into a standing split. So setting your block aside, rolling your hip down, your hand, left hand is grounded, right hand is grounded, reaching your leg high, and then stepping your two feet together. Sink your hips, Utkatasana breathe here. Just a visit, exhale, come all the way up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms high, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, plant your hands, step or float back to plank, move through your vinyasa. So lowering on the exhale, inhale to rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking it one breath per pose, big toes touch, inhale your left leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, roll the hip open. Inhale, straighten, shift the weight forward into the hands, bend your knee, imagine as if you're gonna tap your foot to your head, heart melts forward. Inhale to straighten, exhale, round in. Drawing knee to nose, step your left foot forward, inhale, rise. Warrior one, right away, palms together, belly pulls in, tailbone is long, reach up to go back. Exhale, sweep open, warrior two, and because we didn't take warrior two earlier, we'll pause here just for a moment, just like on the first side, setting it up, starting the pose from the foundation. Front foot straight ahead, back foot at about 90, inner thighs active. Tailbone reaches long as shoulder stack over hips, shoulders soft. Flip your palms, reach. Inhale to exalt, reverse your warrior, breathing into the left side body, lots of length. Then as you exhale the breath, half moon. So taking your block for support or using the floor, maybe floating your bottom arm, coming into your pose, reaching, breathing a lot of length into the low ribs. So lots of space in your low ribs. Taking your gaze where is appropriate for you in your practice and then maybe taking the chopasana, bending your back knee. Drawing your right knee back as you draw your heart forward. Nice opening of the shoulder here as well. And then release with grace. You'll revolve the right hand down, move the block aside, standing split. Right leg is high, exhale, stepping your two feet together, bend your knees, Utkatasana, just a visit. Exhale, come all the way up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. Bring your knees to the mat, lower all the way down to your belly. From here, moving into another cobra pose. So untuck the toes, reach your tailbone long, inhale, rise the chest. And again, you can float your fingers, work the muscles in your back body, or press into the palms, going for a high cobra. Maybe even working elbows straight. If you're working elbows straight, really draw the pelvis forward. Make sure that you're not compressing into the low back and then lower all the way down. And then from here, taking your hands behind your back, zip your inner thighs together, find a bind, lift your hands up off your tail, and then inhale, lift everything up. Locust pose, breathing here. Rolling the heads of the shoulders back. So using the back body to lift, but using the bind to open the heart, and then release your arms, open to the side, start to sweep them forward, separate the legs, lift a little higher. And then exhale, come all the way down, palms face up. Gaze over to the right, left ears on your mat. Just taking a breath here. And then chin back to neutral. Bend your knees, reach back for your ankles. Squeeze your knees together. So think adduction, inner thighs draw together. Try to avoid knees wider than hip width. Press your feet, your ankles into your hands and then lift everything up, staying in the soft part of the belly. Coming into your Dhanurasana bow pose, squeezing. Breathing, neck is neutral, gazing about a foot in front of you. One more inhale, and then as you exhale, come all the way down. Release. Gazing left, palms face up, breathing. And then from here, press yourself back to a child's pose. Or you can come to an embryo, knees together, reaching your arms all the way back behind you. Resting your forehead on the mat, just for a breath cycle. And then coming forward, plant your hands, palms, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Using downward dog as a transition onto our backs, inhale, rise high. Bend your knees low and then make your way all the way through to a seat and then come down onto your backs. Reach your legs long, arms long overhead, extending everything long. Exhale, knees to chest, give yourself a squeeze. So hugging your knees in neutralizes the spine, maybe a little rock and roll from side to side. And then moving into bridge pose. So you'll set your feet down hip width distance, reaching your hands towards your heels. See if you can tap your heels with your middle fingers. 
So that way you know when you lift up the knees will stack over the ankles. Then start to press into the feet to rise the hips. If you have your block and you want to support your low back, you can take a therapeutic variation or restorative variation of the pose. Otherwise active, pressing through the feet to lift the hips. So breathing here, walking your shoulders a little closer together. Leaving a little bit of space between your chin and your chest, but working to get your chest a little higher. Releasing any tension in your glutes as you hug your heels back towards your hands. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, lower down, slow, slow, one vertebra at a time. And without a lot of thought, coming back into a second set just like that or taking Ordva on your asana, wheel pose by taking fingers pointing towards the front of the room, hands on either side of the ears, maybe walking feet in a little closer, and then pressing through the hands and feet to rise up. And then if you're pretty comfortable in your wheel, you can walk it in a little closer. But remember, whether you're in your bridge or your wheel, you're, you're melting the heart forward. So releasing any tension in your glutes, in your butt, so no squeezing. And then whether you're in bridge or wheel, walk your feet close together and then inhale your left leg to the sky. Really engage your psoas, your hip flexor. To get the leg a little higher, exhale, lower the left, inhale the right. I'm just switching legs. See if you can get that leg nice and high. Big contraction of the front of the hip and then right leg down. Start to walk your legs out if you're all the way up, tuck your chin. Come back, upper back, mid back, low back. And then just let your legs come all the way down, reach your arms up over your head. Neutralize your spine. Exhale, squeeze in. Press your belly into your spine, spine into the mat. A little rock and roll from side to side. And then a little back release here. So you can stay right here. Maybe you take your hands to the backs of your legs and draw your shins towards your face for a supine forward fold. Supine Paschimottanasana. Breathing here, nice release of the back and then start to take it all the way down, knees to chest. Send your left leg long, hug the right knee into your outer right ribs. And a gentle twist to finish off our practice. Left, right knee draws across the body to the left, right arm reaches to the right. Gaze is to the right if it's okay for your neck, and then you're stacking your hips while two shoulders root down, taking one breath cycle here. Big inhale through the nose, big exhale through the nose, soften. And make your way all the way back to center, shifting your hips back to neutral, drawing your two knees in, give yourself a squeeze, and then send your right leg long, left knee draws to outer left ribs, squeeze in, right hand. Takes the left knee, left arm reaches long, gazing left if it's okay, shifting hips, rolling all the way over. Taking an inhale breath, and an exhale breath to soften and sink. Come all the way back to center. And from here you'll draw your two knees in, give yourself a big squeeze, and then reach your legs to the sky. Staying here, allowing the blood to drain from your legs just for a moment. Viparita Karani. You can support this with a block to get your heart above your head, or just stay exactly as you are. Just a few more breaths. And then draw your knees into your chest, and start to make your way into Happy Baby for a final, final neutralization of your spine. It's a wonderful pose to find length in the spine. Start to draw your knees to your outer ribs. Heels will stack above the knees. You want to keep your feet nice and flat. Use your palms to pull the knees down towards the outer ribs and then start to roll your tailbone towards the earth. So your spine is nice and long. You don't want to roll up, you want to roll down. If you want to rock and roll from side to side a little bit for a final low back release, just do whatever feels good. Maybe you want to extend your legs open to the sides. So just listen to your body and then start to bring it back. Back to happy baby, then knees to chest, squeeze in, and then maybe you bind your elbows here. So coming into the tiniest little ball, you can get into squeezing in compression and then releasing on an exhale breath all the way down to your final resting pose. Just landing however you land. Not a lot of time to, to mess around, just fall in, soften and sink. Allow your natural breath to return. Soften, surrender, no effort, just relax. You are welcome to stay here as long as you would like. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful day.